keep your eyes open for the new doors that are potentially opening up for you. Okay? Keep your eyes open. Aries. Aries, are you recently giving, getting over a heartbreak dealing with either a Leo or a Sagittarius? Maybe a Cancer or a Gemini. Okay. Um, there's disappointment. You have the Tower moment here. This could be somebody you're dealing with from your past in your childhood. Somebody you have known. Um maybe your entire life this is also deep childhood issues and now i feel like you have the strength to talk about these issues aries for some of you this is something you're not struggling with anymore um maybe something has happened to you when you were a kid and this is the right time for you to come forward and say that this has happened to me because now you feel like you're balanced, okay? Now you feel like you're in a place where you're able to come forward and say this. Maybe in the past, um, or maybe even still now, you feel like if you ever spoke up about something like this, that you would get in trouble. You're hearing like nobody would believe you. No one will believe you. So you felt helpless. Felt disappointed. You're just coming out of like a place where you were like, instead of being like really hurt, you're still really hurt, but you're able to talk about it now. Because it had you feeling dark. Had you feeling low. You don't want to argue about this thing with anyone. You just want to... You want to let it out. You want to release. Whatever this thing is from your childhood. There he is. For some of you feel like this is the right time And even if you don't feel like it's the right time You have the tower card Which is divine intervention Which is going to happen regardless and it might be something like a blow up. It might be horrible the way how this thing comes out. But it's the right time. This could be something that you've been having visions about. Getting this off of your chest for the longest. Um, this is a memory of yours. Once you let this off of your chest, there will be expansion for you because this is something that's been blocking you. But right now you're having a breakthrough. Yes, an awakening, of course. More for Aries. There's someone in this situation who's just not sorry. Somebody never apologized for what they did to you. Aries. And it's like no matter what life has given you. No matter what God has given you. You've always been unhappy. Because you're in a dark place. Your essence was taken from you. Who you are was taken from you. And the fact that somebody never apologized for it. 
something that they might hold over your head. Three more for Aries. Like I said, you don't want to argue about this. You don't want to argue about this. You don't want to fight about this. You don't want to argue about this. But you now have the willpower to move forward and bring justice for yourself so you can move forward. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe anybody anything. There's nothing you have to give to anyone else. You don't owe anybody anything. Like I said, you're ready to let this stuff go. You're ready to release it. Okay? You also want justice. And you want to move forward from this situation. From whatever this is in your childhood. For some of you, it's something really bad. Somebody taking your innocence away. What more do you have for Aries? It's like now you're ready to take charge of your life by force for some of you. And this is a forceful approach. You're going after what you want. You want new beginnings because you have been unhappy, Aries. Some of you have been unhappy financially. Some of you feel like there's like you're not seeing. Some of you feel deceived, like you're not seeing things correctly. Like I said in the beginning, Make sure you're using your eyes to see correctly, to see the doors that are in front of you. Because right now you feel like you have bad luck. And it could be to what you're holding on. That's making you dark. You need to move you need to move forward. You need to find the willpower to make it happen. But first you need justice. I don't know if the law needs to get involved in the situation, but you don't owe anybody anything, like I said. Whatever this is, this is something that's going to be moving quickly. There could be a Pisces involved in this situation. Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius. more for Aries. One more for Aries. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius or a Libra. Okay. Um, some of you want a situation to end or a situation is ending and a new situation so is for some of you Aries you're dealing with a Scorpio for some of you you want the situation to end you want a new beginning you want a new situation to arise for some of you you don't want to be in this marriage or in this partnership that you're in with this person um, someone might be very selfish in the situation self-absorbed um, or this could be you just worried about yourself right now. Self-care. For some of you, the relationship is probably, it's just things were moving too slow. Or there's a loss of attraction, sexual attraction for another person. Or just the pace of the relationship is really slow. You could be dealing with a person who feels like they know everything. Um... They just know everything, so it's hard to communicate with a person that knows everything, Aries. Um, you might not feel like you're struggling, per se, in this situation, but things could just be too slow for you. Aries, you're ruled by Mars. You move very fast. You're very fast, and this could just be too slow for you. Or somebody is taking too long to like acknowledge you and... 
make you feel beautiful, make you feel wanted, make you feel known by others. They're not doing that and it's making you feel like, man, I want to leave. Either this person isn't offering you something or you're not offering the person something in this situation. For some of you, you feel like you're being deceived. And it's causing bad luck in this relationship, in this union. Or you could be in a situation with a person and they might be telling you, oh, we're going to get married. And Aries, it just, you know, like it's not happening. But you could be following this person's lead because they come off like a nodal, like they know what they're doing. For some of you, you could be pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant. Okay. For some of you, Aries, you're just really focused on your finances right now. Also, you want to be very stable at this time. For some of you, you could have been dealing with insomnia in the past and now you feel like you're coming out of it. For some of you, dealing with depression and you're feeling like you're just now coming out of that. Your thoughts are now becoming more clear. Whatever illusions you had in your face, you had to clear that out so you could see clearly. Like I said, everything for you, Aries, is seeing. Not only with these two eyes, but with your third eye, your internal eye. For some of you, you Aries, you, you are abusive or the person that you're dealing with could be abusive or there could be abuse in your situation. There could be a male figure who is too overbearing um, and it could be difficult, but you're with this person. You sleep with this person. It could also be an indication that you need to seek higher counsel, counseling. What more for Aries? Aries. For some of you, you're walking away from a situation, something that had you feeling trapped. You're walking away from that. For some of you, you are offering your emotions to someone. For some of you, you are being in control of your emotions and you're giving them exactly what you feel they need at this moment. You're being in control of everything. You're using your mind. Um, for some of you, you could have a job offering, new job offering, good news surrounding money, um, good news surrounding a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo, mainly I see Taurus. A new job opportunity for some of you is what I see. Something that's going to stabilize you. A new opportunity. And, and it might be out of the blue. For some of you, it might be dealing with a Leo. Or Aries. Or another fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. For some of you, you might be dealing with a new sexual partner as well. When it comes to your health, Aries, let's see what's going on. Aries, and it's your birthday month, so happy birthday, Aries. Um, you need to exercise. Get out there and exercise. Forgiveness heals. Aries, if there's something, obviously, in the beginning of the reading, that was very heavy, okay? You need to forgive so you can heal. Consult a nutritionist. So some of you need to change your diet. Eat better. Take care of yourself, Aries. Love yourself. Aries. 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 For some of you, you'll be traveling. 
okay? Pay attention when you travel because there's something that you need to see and learn when you travel. Um, your wish is granted. Um, if, some, if there is something that you've been praying on, trying to manifest, it's granted. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Be in touch with how you feel. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire from any situation, anything. Be honest. Affirmations. Lift up, lift your mood with your thoughts and energy and attract positive affirmations. So you should be saying, I'm beautiful, I'm worthy. Um, I attract abundance. I am healed. I am love. Things like that to attract that to you. Children. Your connection with children is part of your life purpose. So Aries, you're connected with children. You need to surround yourself with children. If you're thinking about having a child. Yes. Aries. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Leadership, okay? You're a leader, Aries. By nature, you are a leader, okay? So this is your career path. So you have to be a leader when it comes to your career. Some of you are a healer, okay? Spiritual healers at that. Some of you might be doctors. Writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with your words when you write. So keep writing. Options. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. So weigh your options correctly. Aries, you have options at this time, weigh them. Some of you need yoga. Your life is enhanced when you are doing yoga and aligning your chakras and everything, okay? Animals, you understand animals, Aries, and you communicate with them intuitively, okay? This is a part of your work, a vet for some of you, okay? Whatever you choose to do, you are protected. You are protected by God. Whatever it is that you're choosing to, to do, you know, you're in his favor. Keep studying, okay? Keep researching, keep studying, Aries. Don't stop studying. You need to trust Aries. And right now is the perfect timing. So time is on your side. It's the perfect timing and you need to have trust. Okay? Never pick up these cards with these nails. Aries. Need clarity. Okay. You need some time to yourself. By yourself. In a sanctuary. Your heart needs to be sanctified. You need to forgive. And true love. True love comes from God first, then yourself, and then you can love another person, Aries. That's my time. Um, happy birthday, and I wish you all luck, especially those with childhood trauma. I wish you luck, and I wish you fast healing. I wish you healing. Remember to use your eyes to see what's in front of you. The opportunities that are in front of you, the doors that can take you to a whole nother place, Aries. 
um, pay attention. Happy birthday and thank you. Bye-bye.